Yo, Sega, what have you done to my boy? What? Oh God, that is awful. That is just awful. Yo, what is going on my fellow weebs? Colonel here, welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna go over the the new seasonal weapons, I guess I'm just gonna see. Yeah, we're gonna go over the new seasonal weapons and uh, what's happened to them because they are not, the seasonal weapons are not made the same apparently. But before we jump into that, if you guys are new here, I'm Colonel from Recover PSO2 content. Would much appreciate to subscribe to work our way towards that 10k mark, hopefully by the end of next year. Anyway, let's go ahead and jump into this. So I don't know what happened, man. Um, I'm not sure. Um, just as a little bit of a preface, uh, on stream, we were doing some farming yesterday. Uh, yes, we. I'm going to try to go live every day at 5 o'clock. Maybe live at 5 p.m. EST. If you're watching this video at that time, maybe check. See if we're up. Either way. So uh, we were streaming, hanging out, doing some farming, and uh, someone came in the chat and asked, hey, should I upgrade my seasonal weapon? Like, is it worth to grab the seasonal weapon and, you know, go and use it? And my default response usually is that, yeah, they're always worth using. They're very powerful for the season itself. It's useful for that, you know, that one, you know, that one month the season goes on. And then afterwards, it's a decent, like, filler weapon in between. Uh, maybe less so now that we have the Argenti weapons, but it was a, it was a solid weapon overall. However, someone in my chat brought up that like actually the seasonal weapon changed and it's pretty bad and i didn't really think about it because i'm so used to this so those of you guys who watched my video yesterday when we went over the uh the update i just kind of default uh just blanket you know gave the normal thing i say for seasonal weapons when they tend to pop up that they're good it turns out that i was completely wrong i do apologize for that also um a while back we talked about you know providing feedback and things of that sort and the way i feel like feedback should be provided um and some people concerned that you know they really never hear anything negative on the channel um i did mention back then that i would you know make a revisited effort to try to get all of my types of opinions on the channel where i usually only share the negative stuff on twitch um so we're going to talk about it today we're going to talk about the uh, the vario cool weapons and how they are vario bad they are vario bad anyway let me pop over and let's take a look so here we are in the clock tower alliance headquarters love this place very very well done very happy how it turned out but now we're here to talk about we're talk about the vario cool weapons so this is the seasonal weapon that we've got and why is this weapon so bad so there are two things that made the seasonal weapons actually pretty solid in the past it was their potential um, and their seasonal augment i guess three um, it was also the fact that they were upgraded to plus 60 at the time and the max was 70. so there's one thing that uh i'm actually kind of glad i'm re-recording this so i'm changing my opinion on it does look like these are upgraded or these are set to go to plus 80 which is nice though i don't know why i didn't start these at 70 with 80 being the max now that seems a bit silly um but anyway uh so the nice thing is is that you know this is maxed out at 80 so you don't have to worry about limit breaking it you save yourself some money and some materials and uh the potential is already upgraded to plus six so very very solid along with you know the seasonal augment however the potential this time around has changed so the potential is 29 percent potency which is solid um but it's also now Damage resistance plus 10%, PP cost consumption minus 10%, and photon blast gauge charge plus 10% when attacking. Kind of bad. Um, and I'll show you why comparatively in just a moment here. So this is kind of kind of bad, kind of crap. I mean, it's not the worst in the world, but like photon blast gauge charge when attacking, this is always like, it's always deceptively bad. When I say this, because people are like, oh, what's bad about getting your photon blast faster? Well, if you think about it in the case of like, a mission that you're doing if this doesn't this doesn't assist you with either getting a photon blast in a better location or getting an extra photon blast effectively it's done nothing um so if you let's say like, let's say something crazy like you have five photon blasts across an urgent quest right and your your photon blasts always line up with like when a boss goes down or you're just firing them off as soon as they pop up and you're always landing all of it well 10 percent bonus um doesn't change the cooldown photon blasts so it's still going to be the exact same cooldown all right apologies I had to make a quick cut but um but yeah so the 10 percent realistically unless you're getting it uh, unless you're getting a pb in a location where you normally wouldn't like if it lines up now with you know a down or something along those lines or you're just flat out getting an extra pb that you weren't generating before which is extraordinarily rare you'd have to already be fairly close to getting that photon blast for this 10 percent to make a dent or make a difference it does nothing Effectively, nothing has changed. Um, so it is deceptively bad. 
as in like people don't realize when it's actually bad the um the stuff that increases your photon blast like gauge or your photon blast damage is really nice like blaster fix is nice but this is not really that good and then we have something like setsun and this time around what setsun does which i fully believe is because of the question we got during um during the headline the last headline that we got but it says potency plus three percent and there's a slash of course when they have these are like okay this is always what you get by base and this is like you know the the um i can't think of the word but uh what you have to do something or under certain circumstances you get these sort of things but you have the three percent by base and then versus christmas 2023 new year's 2024 and winter 2024 seasonal enemies you get an extra five percent potency 15 percent crit rate and 20 percent you know, resistance so you think to yourself, you know, you get the crit rate, you get the damage resistance. Why is this so bad, right? Like, this doesn't seem that bad. It's not something you have to worry about taking off because 3% potency. So it's solid. It's just solid potency overall, um, even after the event. Why is this so bad? Well, let's look at last season's weapon. So, you know, the holiday, se the Halloween season was the last one that we had. So Bronaga weapons. So look at Bronaga weapons. We have a, po or a potential of... 26% potency, which is a 3% less. Don't get me wrong. It is 3% less. Um, crit rate plus 10% and damage distance plus 10%. Very solid um, overall uh, potential, right? Very solid potential overall. Gives you some crit rate, gives you some damage distance, gives you some potency. It's kind of boring. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, for sure. But it gives you all solid stat bonuses that you absolutely can use under all circumstances, right? Something like this, where you're getting some PP cost re consumption reduction. If you're a gunner who doesn't already, who really doesn't use a lot of ton of PP, you're good, right? You're fine. If you're someone who's not getting that extra photon blast, this is almost useless. Um, damage resistance is fine, cool. But like realistically, these are the two things that are kind of like, all right, dope. We get this no matter what. We're good. This is solid. And it's damage resistance and an extra 3% potency. Like you're trading 3% potency for 10% or 10% crit rate, which does not feel good in my opinion. Um, and moving on, this is where it gets crazy. This is the previous seasonal affix or augment. 20% potency, 35% resistance or crit rate, and 30% damage resistance. That is massively better than what Vario Cool has. For some reason, they just massively nerfed the seasonal augment. And you could argue that, hey, at least now you don't have to replace it after the season's over, right? It wasn't difficult to replace before. We have a ton of LC augments, like even here, if I was going to replace this, I'd throw in like Isle Domina LC, Grand Dread LC, both solid choices. They're not difficult to get a hold of since the season's essentially throwing them at us. So if you're farming the season, you'll get them very easily. And even after the season's over, you can just farm the seal exploration and you'll get them fairly easily. Isle Domina LC, you can quite literally buy from the growth mint shop and they give you 15 growth mints for a daily every single day. So you get it very 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 easily it's not a difficult process whatsoever so looking at this weapon it's just a massive downgrade to the previous seasonal weapon and i was going to like wait and do a comparison with cakewalk's damage calculator and how strong this weapon is compared to everything else but we have a pretty solid barometer of like where the bottom is right like at level 65 you get one of these for free you get an argenti that's got fix attack five you know, Gladia, is, it's basically fully ogged out for you. And it's ogged out fairly solid, honestly. Like 19% is nothing to scoff at. Um, you got 56 HP or 65 HP, 15 PP, and a solid amount of stats overall. This mastery LC is a little bit questionable, um, but that can be replaced. Like we have Grand Dread LC now. Like that's totally fine to swap out in this location, in my opinion. Like this is like the bottom, right? So if you're asking yourself, hey, should I even make this weapon? Um, Unless you just have the resources to throw out and you haven't upgraded your weapon just yet. Like if you have, I would say a Versh with like Terminal 1 or Terminal 2, I'd argue Terminal 1's enough, but Terminal 1 or Terminal 2, like you could completely ignore this weapon. It's not fantastic. It's actually really bad. Um, even as a new player, getting a Versh, like, yeah, you would have to upgrade it. But if let's say, for example, you're someone who already has a Versh, I wouldn't bother with this weapon where before the seasonal weapons were so powerful that they were just massive upgrades to even anything else we were using at the time you went on kind of like a power trip during the season event this ain't it <laughs> like this doesn't feel like it 
the weird decisions they've made with this weapon just seem a bit off and like that's not even all the weirdest decisions why does this have age of soul triple Bowl 2 alt secreta and mastery 4 on it why is a weapon they give you for free when you level up augmented better than the seasonal weapon that you have to pay points for like lc augments should be staple with most of these things nowadays and yeah you can easily replace these things right like it's not that difficult if i were to take the seasonal weapon and i wanted to aug it to actually use it i would be replacing basically all of this i might keep the mastery but trippable alt secreta all this like gladius soul lc al finale lc or no, Heil Domin lc uh grand dread lc and like gigas master lc bam i'm done like i can leave this mastery here and i'm fine so keep the suck soon we need to get one more slot of course by hitting 61. another weird choice this is 60 for some reason and not 70. other than just wanting people to dump money into upgrading this weapon from 60 to 70 to then go to 70 to 80 it just seems a little bit weird especially again when they quite literally give you a free weapon at plus 80. am i saying this argenti is going to be better than a seasonal weapon upgraded no the seasonal weapon is going to be better but it's not going to be so much better that you should go for it like hardcore right like if you were going to go through and upgrade a weapon i would argue that your your money is better spent going to something like getting a good malek with uh with fix on it with getting a um you know maybe upgrading the verse you're already working on slightly more realistically just it doesn't how can i put it? it's just it's not the easy this is what you should do definitely go get this now when we do some more, you know, I might go into it more in depth and do like exact calculations, but I cannot see this weapon being substantially better than a Vershmelt. Like, if anything, maybe a bit better than Vershmelt's with the way they currently have it set up against only seasonal enemies, right? Not going to work against something like, um, like Solus. Um, it's not going to work against something like DFA2. Those are things where it's just not going to work out. So I would highly recommend if you're someone who is like, you know, currently building yourself up, you think about this weapon, you're like, maybe I'll use it. I mean, honestly, I would, I don't know if this is even better at base. Like I'm, I'm literally struggling to think of a good situation where you would want to use these Vario cool weapons because the, there's, there's no element on these. The potential is crap. The Setsune is crap. Um, the augments are all crap. You have to replace most of these augments. You have to then upgrade it. So you're then investing money into the upgrade, right? Um, and the current farm does not require you to, to get a really insanely good weapon. Like if you told me people were running at the current farm, like on in South Redham and North Redham of killing a bunch of you know, dreads, they were using something like, you know, uh, the Argenti weapon or whatever with the new, with the, uh, with the Esfint armor they gave you, I'm probably saying this wrong, Esfint armor they gave you, that's fine. Honestly, I really could care less. This is this is totally okay with me because that farm is not super difficult where you need to have a really good weapon. Yeah, having a better weapon is going to be better for most people there, but like if you're someone who needs to like build yourself up, it almost feels like you're working backwards to work forward if you start using something or build up something like this or waste your resources on something like this. That's what it feels like. It feels like a waste of resources. I think that covers everything I wanted to say about this weapon. If you guys are more curious or maybe you think I'm wrong, maybe we'll wait until Cakewalk updates the damage calculator and we'll go in more depth on exactly how powerful this weapon is, like to the percentage versus other weapons augmented very similarly. Um, we definitely can do that. Leave the link in the, or leave a, uh, a comment in the videos or in the, wow, leave a comment below and I will make sure to leave a link to that video if we decide to do that. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching all the end. Yeah, my friends, take care. Peace out.